Hello, welcome. In this video, let us look at the plotting of a simple modulated signal, a simple amplitude modulated signal. So the message is given by the following signal. So the message will be y of t. So y of t is given by 2 times r of t plus 2 minus 4 times r of t plus r of t minus 2 plus r of t minus 3 and plus u of t minus 3. So basically the message is a combination of a linear combination of different ramp signals and an unit step signal. Uh, so and then we have the carrier x of t carrier is given by a simple sinusoid of frequency equal to phi pi. So the carrier is x of t is equal to sin of phi pi t. Now our goal is to find the signal z of t. z of t is basically the amplitude modulated signal that is the product of y of t and x of t. So that means we are modulating the carrier signal with the message y of t. So we want to plot this signal z of t. Recall that in a previous video on combo of a uh, set of ramp signals we have uh, uh, learned how to plot this type of signal y of t. So what we will do is we will uh, basically uh, generate y of t and then multiply with element by element with the x of t and then we generate this z of t the amplitude modulated signal. So the am signal and then we will simply plot this one. So uh, we have the time vector and then we have the carrier x the with frequency equal to phi pi and then we have uh, the components of the signal that is signal y uh, we break it down as follows. So we break down the signal given signal y of t as y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 and then we generate uh, each of them separately that is y1 of t is simply a ramp signal of a scale 2 or a slope equal to 2 and then starting at minus 2 and then y2 of t is again a ramp signal uh, with a scale uh, that is slope equal to minus 4 and then starting at time equal to 0 and then y3 of t is equal to uh, r of t minus 2 that is a ramp signal starting at value 2 and slope is of course equal to 1. Similarly y4 of t is again a ramp signal starting at time t equal to 3 that is r of t minus 3 and finally y5 of t is the is an unit step signal is a unit step signal starting at t equal to 3. So we generate all these signals separately and then we just add them to get our message signal y of t. So that is what we have done here that is we are using the function my ramp to generate these signals that is y1 for example we give in the time vector t and then the uh, starting point that is minus 2 and then the scale or the slope at uh, 2 so we get our y1 that is y1 is equal to 2 times r of t plus 2 and similarly y2 similarly we can see y2 that is minus 4 times r of t that is uh, we have a scaling factor of minus 4 and then we have the ramp that starts at 0 so that is minus 4 r of t and then y3 of t is a ramp that starts at 2 and scale equal to 1 and again y4 ramp starting a ramp starting at 3 and scale equal to 1 so we generate y1 y2 y3 and y4 and finally y5 which is basically my unit uh, which is my unit step uh, shift 1 that is basically a function that starts at time equal to 3 and its value is 1 after uh, time equal to 3 and 0 before that so now once we have all the signal components we add them to generate our message y uh, and then thus we have the vector y and next we multiply this vector to the uh, vector x that is on I mean the carrier signal so y dot star x that is um, element by element multiplication of y and x gives us the am signal that is the amplitude modulated signal z and then the next step is to plot this signal and to understand the nature of the signal we also plot the envelope of the uh, amplitude modulated signal which is simply our uh, message y uh, plus y gives us the positive side envelope and minus y gives us the negative side envelope. So let us look at the results. The dark line that is the black line is basically the amplitude modulated signal and the red one is the message or the envelope of the signal. So to summarize uh, in this video we have looked at the plotting of a simple amplitude modulated signal 
so here the signal or uh, the message is given by here the message is given by a linear combination of different ramp signals uh, as we have seen in a previous video uh, which also we generate this y of t along similar lines and then we uh, have the carrier signal given by sine of phi pi t that is the carrier signal with frequency equal to phi pi radians uh, per second so we, uh, to generate the signal z of t that is the amplitude signal we have to just multiply y of t to x of t so basically that means x of t is modulated by y of t uh, and since we are changing the amplitude so it's called the amplitude moderates modulated signal so z of t is the amplitude modulated signal and in order to generate y of t what we do is we break it down into five components and generate these five components individually or separately and then add them to get our signal y so that is what we have done in this matlab code we generate all the signals y1 to y5 and then add them to get our signal y and we generate the vector x and then multiply y and x to get our vector z that is we do element by element multiplication so the z is the amplitude moderated vector so we plot this one and then to we also compare it with the uh, envelope that is we also show the envelope by simply plotting y and minus y that is positive and negative sides of the envelope and then we will look at the results the sinusoid looking curve or the black curve basically represents the amplitude moderated signal and the red one represents the envelope so we can clearly see that the message is being carried by the uh, uh, sinusoidal signal thus we can plot a simple amplitude moderated signal in matlab thanks for watching